The topic of today is what is the future of dropshipping in 2019 and beyond. All right. All right. So the way I see dropshipping is it's always going to be around. Um, so to answer that question straight away, I get asked a lot: is is dropshipping dying? So no, it's not dying. It's evolving. Okay, like anything in life, once something becomes a standard that never dies, it just changes. Okay, if we look at the evolution of everything in our lives, it's never died; it's just changed. If you look at Facebook, where uh, Facebook went through a period, a tough period with uh, the data breach, people said it was going to die. What had happened? It didn't die; it evolved. Okay, it transitioned itself into a different company that now won't let that happen again. And it's the same with dropshipping. Is so what's going to happen with dropshipping more now is so people are still going to be using AliExpress, Overload, Dropify, all that to ship their products. What's going to happen now is is that shipping is becoming the big thing. Okay, so with the amount of competitors in the market for dropshipping now, uh, the incentive is now the advantage is the people going to the extra degree for customer service okay so that's the big difference and that customer service is one of the big things that we can control is shipping so if you're marketing to the United States for instance which most of us are uh, myself included that's where I primarily focus most of my my attention and uh, for my clients and everything so what the solution there is to use fulfillment centers so there's like ship Bob there's CJ drop shipping so Let's say ShipBob is you have to buy inventory and you send it to their fulfillment center. CJ Dropshipping is they source the products into their fulfillment centers and you pay uh, whatever the price they quote Okay, for that product. just takes a bit of time. The difference between the two is the shipping times. ShipBob literally has like a two, three day turnover to get the item. Okay, Now, people have always never taken this serious. But I have a number of clients, including myself, where... As a result of these fast shipping times, customers come back time and time and time again. You know what they do? So looks triggers and then they come back and they give a review and they buy again. So that's one, just one future. And not being way ahead with that, and I'm, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm better than anyone, but I just can see that. You know, what people have forgotten with drop shipping is that it's a customer service orientated business, like any business. People think that they can get away with uh, providing poor customer service. Okay, that that is what's changing. Okay, so that's one thing. So Facebook going, is going to be even more strict on e-commerce stores and just businesses in general providing crappy service. Um, so what's going to happen is people's ad accounts are going to get blocked. People's business managers are going to get locked down. Their pixels going to be completely locked as well. So that's why I've always said that your customer feedback is very important because what happens now is Facebook audit your business through the customers. So they'll get a uh, random audit for feedback and they'll give you a, a rating out of five and they'll say, you know, what was the best experience, what was the worst experience, okay? So that's what's going to happen. Further to this um, as well, uh, providing just crappy products now is not going to cut it, okay? There's going to be a lot more chargebacks there, um, so that's going to not cut it as much anymore. Um, that's another point. Uh, the other point that's really going to happen in dropshipping more is a lot more branded content. Okay, so people are now going to that extra step of shipping faster with their product in, let's say, United States, and then they're actually with things like ShipBob and that, you get your boxes, you get your little um, business cards, and even stamping it basically, let's say, on the back of your T-shirt or, or whatever, your product. Okay, and your brand name. And that is what's going to happen. The evolution is is that um, general stores are becoming tougher. Unless you're already a big general store that's doing a great amount of testing, that's going to become continually harder. So that's why people are moving to niche brand niche stores now. And I've always been on that because it means you can focus on the one type of customer, repeat customers. So if you have rainy days, then you're going to be fine. The other thing that's going to happen, um, which I'm seeing because a number of um, larger dropshippers than me uh, are doing, is they're using Google more. Okay, so now Google's going to be utilized more as an e-commerce marketing platform. 
for the general community because people have always thought that Facebook's the quickest and easiest, which in many regards it was. It is definitely the quickest, but it's not necessarily the easiest anymore. Whereas Google is slower, but it has more room for potential now in many regards. Okay, it's sort of a bit of an untapped industry. Okay, so people are going to be using that more, things like Google Shopping, uh, Google Search, and Google Remarketing. Okay, so I primarily do Google Shopping and Google Remarketing on it, okay, and Dynamic Remarketing. That's what I mainly use it for, and it gets good results. The thing with Google is it works on PPC, pay per click, as opposed to impressions. So what that means is if someone sees the product, but they don't click it, you don't pay anything. Okay, so that's a big benefit of Google. The downside is you don't, you typically don't get results as quick, or you can't scale as high as you can with Facebook. All right. The next thing that's going to happen is um, influencer marketing is sort of coming back as a bit of a temporary trend. However, I see the influencer marketing, especially on Instagram, is going to become tougher, okay, because people are all going into the same niches. All right, and if you don't know what those niches are, it's, it's fashion, it's jewelry, it's it's baby, it's kitchen, um, and it's sort of houseware, garden stuff, okay? So those are the niches that most people are in, and those are the top five niches. So that, that's what's going to happen, and, and it's going to make influence marketing even more difficult. Um, and further to this, uh, this in my opinion, Stripe and PayPal and obviously Shopify or any merchant center are going to be more strict on e-commerce because our customers have been hurt too much. Okay, so that's that's something to be aware of and that's why, again, I know I say this a lot, but this is why I emphasize so much on automation, so much on the back end, so much on customer retention, so much on customer service. Okay, you know, I'm starting to use more Zendesk to help with customer service with G Suite and trying to emphasize that. Just Things like that do make such a difference because the faster someone can get a response, let's say in ManyChat, the better experience they're going to have, the less chance of your account getting flagged. You know, all these things. Okay, so what 2019, the core of 2019 is really going to be about is customer service. Okay, so dropshipping started what about 10 years ago, from my understanding, and you know, all the big boys are already big boys there. But I guarantee you that back then, customer service was there was few stores that cared. It was easy to market on Facebook, it was easy to get sales, you had to do jack all. Okay, so that that's now changed. Now, further to this as well, the other parts that you now have to emphasize on is if you have a winning product and you're scaling it, you now have to test your creatives more um, because it is becoming more competitive. So, you know, testing your thumbnails or just testing your copy, okay? You can use the same video or whatever, but just try different images and you can get very different results or different copy and you can get different results, okay? Um, and the other part that I see is that uh, ManyChat is going to become much bigger, okay? So I've been a big advocate for ManyChat for a long time and I, I love ManyChat and I'm using it more and more and more for my e-com businesses and my clients and just everything because it has incredibly high open rates. It's going to have a lot more functionality. Currently it's set for lead gen, but it's definitely going, once it taps into the e-commerce and gets that properly set up, I can guarantee you it will boom. It, it, because it currently is still a bit of a untapped area and people like myself and, and, and others, most others are mainly just using it just to help with their, their click-through rates for like their YouTube channel. Um, whereas for e-commerce, it has huge benefits, okay? Um, absolutely huge benefits. So that's pretty much what I see as 2019. For the most part, everything else will be much the same. It's going to be trying to find products that sell because you're still always going to have to have winners, but it's going to be about building a brand store and providing really good customer experience, okay? Because if you want to be successful and you're still going to use Facebook ads, Facebook ads will always be viable. The same as drop shop, Shopify as well as dropshipping. The, but the thing that is going to differentiate from everyone else is going that step further to provide excellent customer service through automation, faster shipping, through fulfillment centers, and branding your content through paying that bit of extra to get it on a box, get it on the, the product, okay? Though that's what's going to happen in 2019. Anyone that's not taking that time once they get, get consistency to do that is going to, to struggle a lot more. No matter what people are saying, I honestly feel from what I see, that most are, are just making ends meet. And that's the reality, that that's just how I feel. And, uh, you know, we see these flashy figures all the time, but that doesn't mean that's their money that's taking home. Okay, and that that's why 
I always emphasize um, on going with your gut feeling. Don't overthink things, you know, um, this is just on a personal basis. Hey guys, so that's pretty much it from this one. This is just what I think the future of dropshipping is. Um, what I'm gearing my stores towards, okay, always gearing it towards, you know, I think six to 12 months in advance. Okay, what's that next step? What can I do further? If you did like today's video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for when I provide updates. I provide updates twice a week. All right, guys, now, if I get 100 likes, I'm gonna be running a competition for a coaching call, all right, and, uh, if I get those 100 likes, it'll be a half an hour coaching call for the winner. And all you have to do is get 100 likes on this video. And then if, if I see the 100 likes within the next week in that following video, I'll run a competition for a coaching call, which I'll decide at that time. And uh, someone will be a lucky winning, winner getting a coaching call. All right. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Ricky Hayes IG. My Instagram is growing greatly. I'm getting very close and personal with people. I really like it. All right, guys. So thanks for your time. Have a lovely day.